Welcome to Gear Check Games. This is part 18 of our commentary for Banjo Kazooie. Last time we completed the autumn section of Click Clock Wood, and today we're going to finish it off with winter. It's cold. Yes, it is. It's cold and dreary. Those and snap flowers are finally gone. Cold recycled textures. Mm -hmm. And enemies. Evil yeah, I thought you saw the last man. of these snowmen. Think again. Yep. Wait, were those in, in Freeze's EP? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were. Yeah, we had to kill a bunch of them to get a Jiggy. Oh. Although yeah. I don't remember what defeating them gives you in this world, if anything. I think it gives you the ability to progress. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of Mumbo tokens. Yeah. Uh -huh. That we will never use. Oh, they don't keep splitting. They just split once. That's nice. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, the, uh... <laughs> The, the state of the water is a bit different in winter. Not only is it frozen oh, yeah. over, but when we actually enter the water, we'll see that it shares quite a bit in common with Rusty Bucket Bay's oily water. Oh no. As in, we lose air at twice the normal rate, yeah. and we don't get it back oh. until we're firmly standing on the ground again. Everyone talks about Rusty Bucket Bay and how hard and awful that is, but this is the scariest part of the game for me. No kidding. <laughs> and you know what the worst part is about this? There's a honeycomb in here, but there's oh. no musical notes. <laughs> so, if you came in here looking for musical notes and you drowned by accident, too bad. Mm. <laughs> Start the level over again. Well, hey, at least that means on the, the next time you don't have to, uh... You don't have to come in here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you'd think, you'd think after how many times I've 100%ed this game, I would have remembered that. Mm. But alas, yeah. Joe turns out to be a slow learner. And it's real nice also, that there's... Also, this, this part is BS. Yeah, it's what, real nice that there's no notes in there because uh, getting in the get, getting in is no problem. It's getting out. Uh-huh. What? Uh, I was so close, but not quite. Wait. So I guess I guess if you're judging this playthrough by the standards of the N64 version, I have failed to 100% the game because I died before getting all 100 notes mm. twice. Oh god! But I assure you, I've done it. I'm just thinking about how much that would set you back. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Like Was I said, this is like the, the well? this is one of the things that kind of holds this level back a little bit for me, because of how right. much backtracking you have, to, or how much you have to like. It, it's one thing to like go through like variations of the same world four times. It's like all right, I mean, there's still variations or whatever. But then if you die, you got to re, re get all your notes. You got that mm -hmm. that exponentially increases the amount of revisits to like uh -huh. eight. Or twelve or sixteen. Well, well, and it's like the only the only way to be sure that you've gotten everything is to literally go back to every area you've already visited. Uh huh. And it's just, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think I'm okay with the the note change in the 360 <laughs> version. The bees take up residence mm. here. <laughs> yeah. I guess. That's funny. Either that or they ate mumbo. That explains this. I like weird... that the bee's house had to find a house to hang out in. Oh my <laughs> god, we've we were talking about Mumbo and his resemblance to the pain in a previous episode. He is the pain. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Does that mean he has like if he ever is defeated, he will just explode? Does that happen <laughs> in Tui? So. <laughs> me pain. No, but me maybe, worst boss maybe in, in whole game. <laughs> <laughs> he is indeed, unfortunately. Is that the only way to defeat those guys? Yep. Yeah, you have to use the... whatever this move is called. What is it, the you have to bomb? knock their hats off because, uh, according to the Frosty the Snowman lore, that's the, the source of their magical power that brings them uh, to life. Oh, wow. You're right. Snowman <laughs> lore. Are, are they just ice golems or are they snow golems? It looks like snow. They're snow golems because they're not made of ice or snow. <laughs> They're jerks. They're snowlums. 
Oh. Oh no. As soon as you hit that, as soon as you hit that ground pound putt, ground pound button, I was like, oh no. <laughs> Me- a meme so nice, we used it twice. Round two. Yeah. <laughs> the click clocking. I thought that was gonna oh, take hey, final witch switch. Awesome. Yeah. I thought that was gonna take out like your whole HP bar. <laughs> so in my mind, I was panicked even more. <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, it's, yeah. How much can I embarrass myself in this one level? It's so easy to die in this level because spring is nice because it's like you know, it's it's just a. Uh, it's not nice atmosphere. It's not hard. The, the water's all filled. There's nothing like making things particularly harder. Uh, but then after that, every season adds something that makes things harder. Whether it be mm-hmm. summer taking away the the water that can give you a safe fall, fall having a mm-hmm. tiny shriveled up leaves that are hard to platform on, and winter just being all slippery. Yeah, we haven't even mentioned that yet, but all of the uh, surfaces in the level now have, like, ice physics. Uh Oh! So, on top of the already precarious design of this level, now you have to, like, be doubly careful to not slip off everything. Yeah, just wait till we get to the treehouse and uh, squirrel house section. Oh, God. Oh, my God, there's one part of that that, like... It's it's so precise and finicky to get right that it almost feels unintentional. <laughs> and I think we're going to be showing it off here soon, but like... Uh, oh no. There's an entrance oh. to his house that we couldn't get to yet, oh, because yeah. we didn't have flight pads. And there are... I think there are notes in there. There's either notes or a honeycomb. Yeah, it's this right here. Yeah. Oh wow, first try. Yeah, first try. It is not normally that easy. <laughs> Oh, is it hard to aim that charge? Yeah, it is. Like the just because the um, the lip around the window can kind of get you stuck on it, and if and of course if it does, you take damage. <laughs> Wait, this is his nut hoard. He still had this. Yeah, he has plenty of nuts. <laughs> I guess this is what the six nuts we collected in collected for him turned into. More nice. health. We call that shorthand. Actually, no, we don't get more health because we already had- we collected the six honeycombs in Spiral Mountain. So if those, like, rat goblin things steal his hoard, is he gonna get a small goblin buddy, put his hat on, and go after him? Uh-huh. And he's gonna have a rollicking 3D adventure in the Kingdom of Kong. Yeah. Oh, he has a lady friend squirrel. I never noticed that before. You never noticed nice. that? No, she, like, blends into the bed. <laughs> You know what? It's probably because I play. I always play this on the N sixty four. You know what? Honestly, and the resolution is lower. Honestly, d- he probably only has all those acorns up top because she came in. She's like, "All right, you're useless. I I got a bunch of nuts for us to survive. So uh, don't eat them all." I ordered them from Amazon. <laughs> so he just had the house, and and she brought she brought the food. Is there... was there anything in here? Nope. I think there was in a different season, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, man, get that trophy. <sighs> Areas like that, I almost wish they just didn't let you in during certain seasons, because it's like, there's nothing there. It's just a leftover from the, the season where there is something there. Mm. It's, it's oh. there to make you waste time to see what's in there. <laughs> Yeah. Well, hey, ukulele has a ton of those areas, and they don't ever have something in it. <laughs> that is a good point. <laughs> Such weird map design in that game. It is, like... Whoa. Even in, like, the, the first level, there's, like, all these walls around the edges of the level where, like, occasionally there are quills to collect, but, like, for the most part, it's just, well... It was part of the, like, visual design, so we had... But, like, you can get up there, so we had to make it, like solid objects. Yeah. Whereas in, if it was like an N64 game, those walls around the perimeter would just be, like, inaccessible. Uh-huh. Oh, speaking of pointless areas with nothing in them, here we go, round four. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. I'm a little sad that the, uh, the snapping... 
uh, plants are not alive. They were, they're giving you oh, one. Oh no, they're alive in there. Oh. The room, that, that's another frustrating thing about that room, is that no matter what season it is, it always looks exactly the same. Hmm. <laughs> oh hey. Slid off into his nest. <laughs> yeah, I love that little, like, lack Just of slide animation. into Yuri's DMs. Uh-huh. I'm so proud of our child. She's finally leaving the nest. I like how it's like struggles to fly because it's so like chubby. <laughs> I like it that it dropped a jiggy movie. and they went to the effort of making a farting noise just to explain. Uh -huh. that, like, I wouldn't eat yeah, that. you all knew where it came from, but we just wanted to make sure you knew. <laughs> uh huh. I'm like absolutely sure. And then Kazooie so, just eats it. Yep. <laughs> I'm assuming since. Uh, the only other Jinjo I can think of that I know is, or the only other Jiggy I think I know of is the last Jinjo. So, is there something we have to do in this world to unlock the last one in spring? Uh, Whoa! Yeah, that was lucky. Um, no, actually, the last one is tied to the transformation, so oh. once we finish winter, I am going to go back to spring and do that. Okay. But yeah, like I said, saving the transformation for last just kind of segues naturally back into the overworld. And of course, the I the notes are only on the roof when it's icy and slippery. Mm -hmm. So, on like the very lip of it, uh -huh. will you be an arctic termite? We'll just have to see. A termite. A termite. Termite. Terrible. I'm sorry. Uh, straight up a Pokemon name. Oh, I, th I when you said termite, I thought like a cross of termite and mice. Maybe in the Crown Tundra DLC coming to Pokemon oh Sword and Shield for twenty nine ninety nine. That weirdly spindly legged giant arm, giant headed, uh, elk looking thing. Uh, oh yeah. What is that thing? Is it like? Isn't that supposed to be like a rodent or a rabbit or something? I thought it was like a deer. It looked like kind of a deer to me, it's, but like with a, a galaxy brain. Monster. Well, see, yeah, that's what I thought at first, but then somebody's like, no, it's a rabbit. Wait, it's a rabbit? I don't know. <laughs> the hell? No more notes. Draw your own conclusions, mm -hmm. folks. No more notes, people. No more notes, thank God. And surprise, surprise, they weren't in the beaver's house, so... Uh -huh. Don't follow Joe's terrible example. Avoid the beaver's house in winter unless <laughs> you really want that last honeycomb. We still have to double check every time, though. Just in case. Every time. And the snow just pops out of existence. Is this the same room that Jack Skellington goes through to get to all the holidays? <laughs> 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 no, it just takes you to a random day during different seasons that has no significance. So I'm. The. Oh. <laughs> Crap. He's trying. I'm trying to be all skillful here. So are there the uh, are the different nice. like areas? Uh, obviously, they take time. Uh, they take place at different times of the year. But are they? Do they take place at different times of the same year? Or like, if you go to winter and then back to spring, is it like over to the next year? <laughs> what if? The... <laughs> yeah. What if you? They, they were all just like at random points in time but just, uh, like, following the order of the seasons. So you go to one of them, and, like, Naughty is, like, on his deathbed. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> We've gone too far. Oh, because there's, ah. like, there's things that, like, uh... Like, I don't know if Eerie is still around after she fully grows up and flies off in the other seasons. Uh, so it might be, like, subsequent years instead of going back in time. All of these idiot animals just have the same problems every year, and they never learn. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the flower's still there. So, so yeah, I guess it is yeah. cyclical. If I was Kazooie, I'd be pissed. She's like, is my flying not good enough for you? <laughs> well, I guess no, I'll find work not. elsewhere then. You need a stupid flight pad. Yeah, also the, um, with the bee farm, we can finally enter the hive the way all the other bees do without busting our way in. Yeah. And get the oh, last yeah. ginger, which they just kind of... <laughs> threw in here because they couldn't find anything pink oh, no. to put it in. Uh, yeah, whatever. Just put it in. <laughs> oh, you want to gamer? Better way to gamer pick day. to spruce, spruce up gamer profile. Nice. Uh-huh. Wait. At the what? end of the day, 
The greatest prize of all was the gamer pick. Yeah. What pick does it give you? I have no idea. I think it's like, just like a I, say, I, I, I don't know what an Xbox is. I just played this game on it. <laughs> So there's one more, everybody. <laughs> I want to go to, like, it? Mumbo's Wikipedia page and put in, like, as his classic quote, you win gamer pick to put in gamer profile. <laughs> nice. Mumbopedia. <laughs> Mumbopedia. Yes. Oh, wow. Those uh, tree textures are looking mighty, uh... <laughs> mighty Super texture Nintendo? up here, yeah. Pay no attention to the 2D trees. Those yeah. leaves l straight up look like the trees from Donkey Kong Country. Oh. Did you? Oh god. Yeah, the bee doesn't take fall damage, but it still does squish when it hits the ground. Uh huh. Also, yeah. Um, the uh, the bee form doesn't activate the snap trap things. Oh. Yeah. The. Kind of like the. Thank, uh, thank goodness. You're a part of nature. There's kind of a thing, a running theme of bees not activate, not like. Uh, activating nature traps or whatever in Nintendo mm -hmm. games. Yeah, Mario Galaxy comes to mind. Yeah. Because they have the flower platforms you can only stand on if you're in the... if you have the bee mushroom. Uh-huh. Bee mushroom. Oh, yeah. Isn't that the one you have to use to fight the bee queen? You have to, like, crawl all over her? To fight her? Fight the yeah. bee queen. Uh-huh. By taking away all her little star chips. And there it is, 100%. Yay. Nice. Speed run over. Speaking of Mario Galaxy, I really liked the, uh... I liked that in the, uh... When you get the Boo Shroom or whatever in that game, the Boos still come after you, but they've got, like, hearts in their eyes and stuff. It yeah. felt like a very Banjo way to deal with, uh... Explaining why enemies are still coming after you. Yeah, that forms. was cool, because it's, it's like the same enemy behavior, but with like a slightly different animation. I guess they've got a thing for Mario's manly stash. Uh-huh. <laughs> now, we could resume the game and go to the final boss, but like, we got 100%. Like, we're done here. It's fine. We don't need to see the rest. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, it's all good. Oh, we haven't Thanks seen... for watching our Banjo-Kazooie playthrough, everybody, but uh, it's it's been fun. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, the story does not have a happy ending. <laughs> yeah. Oh, if, you listen to the music, if you listen to the music here, you'll notice that one of the instruments sounds kind of glitchy. Oh no. And I think that's caused by- it, it only happens in the N- it, not the N64 version, the, the 360 version. Um, after leaving the game on for a certain length of time. It's really weird. Whoa, anyway. mama! Yeah, there's um... <laughs> As, as as she's colloquially known, sexy Gruntilda. <laughs> I love that she's got a very like uh uh voice, but she still has the ha <laughs> laugh. Oh, that's why Mumbo is in in Grunty's uh, mansion because he's a dirty traitor. Yeah, he's like the Bulblin King from Twilight Princess. He follows the winning side. <laughs> Wait, you're dead she, to me, Mumbo. She also made her the Hulk. I don't yeah. see yeah. this as bad. <laughs> How's this bad? Yeah, this is not a downgrade. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great if Gruntelda like stole Tootie's like supposed good looks and then Tootie just like mauled her to death? <laughs> 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 it was all for nothing. <laughs> she just becomes an actual bear, but yeah, green. Yeah, what to say. <laughs> Going to instinct mode on her. <laughs> oh, jeez. Anywho, uh, that is not the real ending of the game, in case you hadn't guessed. What? Uh, so what? join us next time when we head for the final grunty challenge of Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, and we'll see you then.